Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Do you ever wish that you could have documents and web pages read aloud to you so that you could multitask on other things? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Read Aloud in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Edge on your Windows computer. Let's check it out. Okay, so first let's look at this in the Microsoft Edge browser. So today I'm conducting some research on Elvis Presley. Oh, sugar. Uh -huh. And so I found this great website with a really good Elvis biography. And so I would like to have this text read aloud to me so that I can multitask and do some other things. So I'm going to go up here to the website address field and off to the far right, you'll see a capital A. I'm going to go ahead and click here. Biography. Elvis Presley Biography The incredible Elvis Presley life story began when Elvis Aaron Presley was born to Vernon and Gladys Presley. Okay, now that is awesome. But check this out. I also have voice options. All right, here we have the speed option. So maybe you would like the speed of the read aloud slowed down a little bit so it's easier to follow. Presley in a two-room house in Tupelo, Mississippi, on January 8th, night. Or perhaps you would like the read aloud sped up so that you can get through it faster. You can do that as well. January 8th, 1935. His twin brother, Jesse Guerin, was stillborn, leaving Elvis. Elvis to grow up as an only child. He and his parents moved to Memphis, Tennessee, in 1948, and Elvis graduated from Humes High School. Now, that's not all you have in the voice options. We can also go in here and choose a voice. Look at this. There's a variety of voices to choose from. They even have a variety of English dialects. So let's say maybe you are from the UK and you would like to hear the read aloud in the Queen's English. You can go ahead and select one of these voices from the United Kingdom. And you'll notice that you have male and female voices in which to choose. School there in 1953. Elvis' musical influences were the pop and country music of the time. Also notice that the website is scrolling down automatically as it reads. All right, so let's see what this looks like in Microsoft Word. So here is a Word document that I need to read through that talks about the history of rock music. And I can also take advantage of read aloud here in Microsoft Word. I'll go up here to my ribbon and I'll come over here to review. And here is read aloud. The history of rock music has been volatile and unpredictable as the genre has constantly redefined and over here at the far right, you'll see your controls and we can go in here to our settings and we have our reading speed. Itself since its emergence in the late 1940s. Not surprisingly, then it can be difficult. Also, we do have a voice selection. However, this is just male versus female voice. But while people might quibble over specifics, rock music can generally be described as hard edge music performed with electric guitars. Also, you have a previous and a next button. Let's take a look at how these work. Bass and drums, and usually accompanied by lyrics sung by a vocal. But while people might quibble over specifics, rock. Look at that. So if I hit previous, it will take me back to the beginning of the paragraph. Rock music can generally be described as hard edge music. Perf Rock's origins, 1940. If I hit next, it will take me to the next paragraph. So this allows you to skip and rewind. Now, the other thing I want to show you is you can also designate where you would like the read aloud to begin. All you have to do is scroll down to the paragraph you desire, click to place your cursor at the beginning of the paragraph, and then come up and press play. As rock music became the dominant form of popular music, new bands built on their predecessor strengths while branching out into new... Isn't that fantastic? All right, and that is how you use Read Aloud in Microsoft Word and the Microsoft Edge browser. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button 
so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this, and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.